Welcome back, everybody. Good This game has its own audio, too. Right, so we should be able to uh, get a second employee, finally, and then uh, worry a little bit more about pricing and setting up the uh, the aisles rather than worrying about checking everybody out and stuff. Oh, boy. This game's cool, man. Good times. All right, what time is it? Not Okay, we're just starting our day. So we need to buy some more products, too, but uh, yeah, we'll... Get warmed up. We'll, we'll go one day and see how much we make in cash. We only got ten bucks anyway. Not like we could do anything else. Let's go! Bum, bum, bum. Mm-hmm. What are our prices at? Let's check. We always want to be a little bit above average, I think. Uh, sugar for five. Whoa. Cereal market price can go up to almost nine dollars. Not for cereal? Game so addictive, yeah, it's lots of fun. And we played other games like this one before. A lot of people miss these hidden gems sometimes. You're selling a product without a selling price. What? Oh, the salt. Uh, we'll go with two fifty. Seven bucks for rice? My god. Bum, bum. Uh, yep. Wait, people are getting locked in now. They're getting locked in. bucks for that.
All right, we got that all sorted out. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> What's up, little Snell? You've been watching for 30 seconds and you already want to play this game? It's good. It's good. Uh, early access, though, so some of the things I hope that are coming soon, which do seem to be a thing, is being able to paint the walls and maybe put things up on the walls that say, like, soda or eggs or dairy or whatever. Changing the floor, that kind of thing. But those are little things in comparison to the... Uh, the flow of the game, which is fun. Oh, damn. We need to get to level 20 so we can hire another employee. That way we can fully manage this place and not just work at the register all the time. Nice try, ma'am. Trying to trick me. Okay, we definitely need more cereal. Cereal, flour, pasta. Wow, the pasta. Man, the pasta. Buy four of those to start with. Hi. And we gotta put some more lighting in too. We're working on it. This whole game is like working on it. Uh, incorporated. What are these? Is that salt? Oh, it's peanut butter. So dark. Even though we got lights. Locked in. Uh, yeah, the storage is on the street curb, but one thing they'll be adding in the game in the future is this. There's a room there called storage, but I don't think we can get into it either until a future update or uh, something. Some reason why we can't. All right, end of the day. There's also going to be thieves and such in the future. We'll see how that works. Wow, they ate all the sugar too.
We're gonna have to order a lot more stuff tomorrow morning. Bears on the box. Alright, uh, let's wait till tomorrow. We're gonna order stuff in the morning. Yeah, peanut butter was flying off the shelf. Oh, I made 33 bucks yesterday. Good. Man, we got a lot of stuff to... <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to organize. Alright, make a big O thing, order a coffee. This is playlist music. I rush home from my job at the grocery store to play this game. Really? Wow. Yo, Emma, thank you very much for your tier one sub. Three month streak, currently on a two month streak. Thank you very much. Wow. I think we gotta start storing up stuff. We're gonna have to restock during the day, like there's no doubt about it. This place is so popular. People apparently like to eat. Very strange, but... We gotta stock and then set prices. That seems to be the most effective way to do things. Oh, more cereal. That's good. Okay, and that's sugar there. Got to do pasta. Hey, what's up, Miss Phoenix? You saw the Manor Lords video? Yeah, more on Manor Lords soon. Now, who does this? Who dropped this off like this? Wow. That was pretty talented right there. What I just did, that takes a pro in the industry to know how to do that. Jenga expert. Pretty nice to stock all these shelves. You know, there used to be a game like this called Trader Life Sim, and the only problem about that game was that uh, stocking the shelf was much more challenging. Tedious, unrewarding. Hmm. more multiple types of flour. I suspected that, that's why I checked. The Viper! Welcome aboard as a bear cub on the channel. Thank you very much for your membership.
Man, we need that storage room. Okay, more olive oil and regular oil. Kind of good to just do this in like sections or whatever. We could put sugar over here, I think. These are all kind of like cooking ingredients, right? Like sugar and flour and oil and salt all kind of things that you wouldn't necessarily use them on their own do you know what i mean green eyes in the chat we have a new member green eyes in chat Your cashier is doing nothing. Oh, yeah, I know. We're not open yet. Time is like frozen. they restock their sh uh, your shelves uh you have to do that yourself which i'm okay with because you'll i mean this is kind of more of a design thing like you get to lay out all the shelves yourself like where they go what way they're uh, facing what goes where on those shelves and then also the pricing too so but yeah when they're empty well i don't know maybe that's going to be a thing in the future because we're supposed to get access to this storage room so maybe there's somebody in the future they could program to like walk back and forth between the two buildings and then put um put your stuff away should probably get some peanut butter too Definitely gonna need some eggs. I'm gonna need some eggs. I'll buy three. Oh, we're short just a few cents. We probably also have to pay, uh, pay bills today, too. I mean, we're supposed to every day, but. money let's go again open hi ma'am welcome to the store Also, we could turn the lights on at night, but I'm just going to leave them on all day. 
It just see, it seems weird to have them off. We got to do our lighting too. That's another thing I like is that we can actually put the lights in where we want. Kebab simulators like that too, where you can put all the lighting in. Oh, thank goodness, she's bothering him, not me. <gasps> Wendy, is that you? I love your dance restaurant. Oh my god. Look at that spicy chili. Ten fifty. Yeah, coupons would be interesting. If you could start a marketing campaign and actually design like coupons and stuff, that would be interesting. And then if you could make, um, you know, put like displays inside the, the, the grocery store too. You know, like, uh, I don't know, like the pyramid of uh, peas or something, cans of peas. Yeah, special offers, yep. Loyalty programs. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot of potential here. That's why I really like covering all these kind of like what we call life simulator games, from Hobo Tough Life to you know, nobody the turnaround. This game Beer Factory. You guys remember Beer Factory? That was pretty cool to actually do. Making our own beer and stuff. Yeah, shoplifting will be a thing in the game. The rice is too expensive. Oh, I didn't do a whole price set for today, did I? Damn it. Looks like the prices are relatively okay. Okay. Couldn't find salt, yep. Good thing it keeps your prices. You know what would be nice, though, is hopefully in the future there'll be a central area where you can look over all the prices for all of your products. So you can do, like, a full review and see what you're selling and how much for everything. And then, you know, doing it when you look at it, too, is fine. But the way it is now is fine, so long as they expand on that.
man, keeping it all stocked and locked. flower. It'll be nice too, is when we step away from the register, if we can close the register, like if we have the option, so that way they all go through him. So that way if there's three customers in here and they're checking out, uh, he can handle like three. And we can handle the rest. But, you know, divert them to him first. Yes, it's a market, but it's super. Super market. So we got oh. Wow, we made over a thousand bucks. Sweet. Yeah, there's no shoplifters at the moment, but there will be a uh, update to have that happen. Yep. There's going to be a lot more coming, it seems, to the game, which is good. Is this box empty? All right, let's wait for tomorrow morning. Then we'll stock some more shelves. Beautiful. Looks like um, bread is popular. Let's go to that management tab. Oh, wait, we can buy the storage building. It's just a thousand bucks. Okay, so that is in the current version of the game, but we have to buy it. Thousand bucks, that's a lot of money. If we spend money on that, we're not going to have any money to put anything in there. No, we can have up to four cashiers, though. That's pretty good. We can expand four by four meters. We can also buy more product licenses. Orange juice. We can buy soda. We'll need some more freezers then. But I think what we should do is stock everything we can first. I think we should keep these shelves completely full and then worry about all the other stuff for later. Because it looks pretty bad coming in here and seeing, like, a few things like that. So cheese, milk, and eggs need to be... We need a lot of that. Milk. Yo, gilly milk. Oh, we're at max. Eh, we'll buy more. <laughs> they just dump it off. It'll be really cool in the future is if uh, you actually have to plan out those deliveries where the truck will only come. I mean, that might interrupt the flow of the game, but it would be interesting if a, a truck actually showed up and 
offloaded it. We're gonna put milk on one side of the thing. Yeah, throw a box of eggs on the sidewalk. Yeah, you know. Hey, those yeah, the strong eggs will, the good ones will survive. You know. Like if I knew this grocery store, you know, like a truck just drove by and they threw the box out, whatever eggs survived would be the good ones. Or would they be bad because they'd be really hard to? It'd be hard to break. You'd have to get like a uh, like a rock crusher. Yeah, there's some good restaurants. We played Kebab Simulator recently, which kind of has some of that stuff. You got to stock your restaurant, buy refrigerators, plan the menu. Can't set prices, though, but... I think we should just do a whole row that way. It's just better. It's just better. You're glad we ordered so much cheese, yeah. That's so what I want the, to see this game have like a deli section too. Be able to go there and buy cheeses and meats and things. It'd be cool. Okay, we got more eggs. We got flour ready to go. Let's order some cereal. I think today is going to be a big breakthrough day. Like, when we sell everything today, it's going to be a big, big breakthrough. Some more coffee. Yep. Coffee. Oh, tea. We could order a little tea. He. I think maybe two. So, what do we got? Uh, we need more pasta. I 
Oh, it's empty. Pasta. Bread. Okay. I think we're going to need to order two of those. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, yellow. The green screen loves that yellow. Okay, we need more fleur. Okay, we need some more rice. And then we gotta do a price check, chat. We gotta do a price check. Maybe do a whole shelf for rice. Yeah, that seems like it'd be popular enough. Rice, like pasta, is a pretty important staple. I think eventually we can um, buy like uh, vegetables and stuff, and like have a produce section. I think. And we could also have deep freezers and stuff too. So there's got to be like meat in this game. All right, what else have we unlocked? We gotta work towards some licenses too to unlock more stuff. But so long as we got everything on the shelf, then we can start buying new stuff. So what do we got? We got the rice, salt, pasta, peanut butter. We could put peanut butter on those shelves again. Up here. Where did we put that? I think we do a whole shelf for that. Mm -hmm. You know what would be cool too? Is instead of carrying in the boxes one at a time, I would love for an update where we get like a, uh, you know, a little, um, some sort of a, like in, uh, oh, by the way, this is like a first person uh, big ambitions where in that game, you can like literally pull up outside the uh, street of your car and then like go to the back and, like you put the the dolly down on the ground, the hand truck, hand cart, 
and then you you can put all the boxes on that stuff. So it'd be really cool in the future if we, if we could actually use our car to go buy some stuff. But I love the look of the neighborhood. This is like Brooklyn AF or many, 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 many places. But Brooklyn comes to my mind immediately. Are we seriously charging $7 for peanut butter? Market price is six forty-eight. Wow. Hey, we got it. We got to We got to charge those high prices, baby. More candy is needed. Oh, I brought that up the other day. Like, yeah, where are the where are the snack foods? Like candy, uh, frozen pizzas. Uh, maybe eventually we'll get there. All right, shelves are stocked with uh, extra stock to boot, so that's good. We got tons of stuff in here now. All right, now before we open, we're gonna do a price check, but also I wanna buy some lights. Yeah, pizza rolls, yeah. Oh wait, I think it's under furniture. Yeah. Well, we can only buy three. I want this place to look nice. It'd be nice if there was a grid system in this game. It would help for laying these lights out. The other problem is when we buy new... Um, uh, like store space. When we expand the store, it kind of throws off the whole design. Without any sort of measuring tools, you can only just eye it up. See how it looks. Well, all right, it's better. Okay, let's open for business, and we'll do a quick price check while we wait for first customers. Good, good, fine. Bring that down to eight bucks. Uh, we could buy something more to put in this shelf. Oh, we'll have to unlock a new license. That's what we'll do tomorrow. No more room for cheese. Okay, let's buy cheese. Always room for cheese. Yeah, I think we can have fruit and veggies and stuff. Yeah, I think so. We're going to need a lot more uh, storage space, though, for all this stuff. God, I, did, I didn't mean to open it. Less boxes on the floor. I think there will also be the need to clean the floors in the future. Maybe emptying trash.
Woohoo! Big hole. Okay, more flour. Twins are back. Hello, ladies. It'd be also interesting in the future is if we have to buy shopping carts and prepare aisles, and then we need to build a giant parking lot for everyone to leave their shopping carts in next to their vehicle with the car corral just inches from that. But of course, you ask the impossible when you ask somebody to bring their cart back after walking around the entirety of the grocery store. How could you expect someone to bring their cart back to the cart corral? Yeah, you have to use the mouse button to uh, type in the numbers. I tried to use the keypad myself. Maybe, did it update to... Let me check. Oh my god. Let's make this small. The text is rather small. Let's make this bigger so we can see. A drive through supermarket. I think the things are still going to be small. Nah, they're still small. Unless. are going well. The fact that we can actually keep uh, shells stocked is good. Bread and cheese. I wonder if it'll take that if I type 042. Yep, okay. is stocked, tee hee.
One more can. No, you can't use the numpad to check out, no. I've tried. It might, it'd be much easier to use that. Okay, we're done for the day. Let's clean up trash and stock shelves with remaining inventory. is fully stocked. What's up, D-pad dad? Good to see you. Chad, you wonder if there's a difference between European and American supermarkets. Yes, the biggest difference is that the American ones are in America. The European ones are in Europe. Big difference. Uh, yeah, we could probably sell things that are not groceries in the future, like paper. Like paper towel, toilet paper. Look at that, 1146 bucks was our is our balance. Wow. Well, let's buy a box of everything then. We'll start with coffee, tea, bread, and cereal. Top it off the shelves, just top it off the shelves. Yeah, tea will sell itself. Same with coffee. Another one. Yep, we got it. Locked in.
Brad's up next. Okay, cereal. We need red flower and red flower and spaghetti. Okay, I think we should buy some more flour. Flour. Okay, we'll plop that right, meow. Oh, I hate to put this in front of this stuff, but I, I yeah, I really wish we had like a if we expand to to that storage room it, it would be nice that we could actually go over there like go through a door and stay inside because like storage is right here it's like down but man it'd be so nice if we could just go into a little room grab stuff and not have to leave the store well, we're stocking up everything let's do peanut butter salt rice Where's the produce section? I'm working on it. And we need to we need to buy a license for something new. Like it looked like soda was next, so we're gonna have to have a we're gonna need a additional freezers. Unless we do I mean we could do one type of soda per shelf here, awkwardly in the Dairy aisle, kind of ish. I mean, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it dairy because it's got both milk and cheese, so now it qualifies as two dairy-related products.
Hmm. Okay. I think after today we're gonna have to do water and milk for sure, but I don't want to do it now. All right, we got four hundred bucks left. Can we buy a new license? Can we do anything new? The fact that we got extra stock on the floor is good because we don't have to buy as much now. Now we do have bills. Oh, Five fifty for the. Uh, oh, we got to get level nine. Oh, we can get that. We we'll get multiple product levels. Oh, we can get like three, four of them. Oh, bro, we can get five different. Look at that. We have different types of cheese. Tuna. French fries. Oh my god. So that, that's going to go in the frozen section. Well, before we unlock this stuff, we got to have storage space. I think we should have the... We build the space first, then we put the aisles in it, then we get the license, then we buy the product. Because otherwise, you know, it's not like people are going to stop asking for cereal and, and milk and stuff. Cola will make profits. I think you're right. Let's get to 550. We'll unlock Cola and then we'll uh, do that aisle there. Or we could put the uh, Cola machine like here. But let's get our day started. Let's make some money. We'll call this place Masuk's Market. But we only sell spice, but we will buy heavy weapons for 18 times their price. A dollar general. Actually, I'm glad you mentioned that. We should do a, qu a quick price check. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Fine. Oh, okay, that could be nine bucks again for cereal. Dank music. We might have to go back to Big Ambitions, Chad. It's been like, what, over six months since we even last took a look at that game? That game could have a, a hell of a lot of cool stuff going on. Not to mention Hood Babies, which I think they took out. Which is... I'm going to have to start a protest for that one. Big spender! Probably even wants us to break a hundo. Oh, wait, 49. Nope. You know what game we need? A spirit Halloween simulator. Like septem September 1st, you take over an old abandoned KFC and you just paint the whole building black or whatever, put up the spirit Halloween sign, stock it, and you gotta be open by like September 15th. And sure, it'll probably be dead for the first couple weeks. But you know, someone's gonna come in and buy something for their kid. But then, Profits really start rolling in a couple of days before Halloween. Spirit Halloween Simulator. Bum, 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 bum. Block 
Buster died so we could have Spirit Halloweens. That's true. Maybe that was their plan all along. Like, hey, this Netflix thing is going to kill us. What are we going to do? Like, well, we can't defeat it, boys. Sorry to tell you, but I do have an idea. <laughs> Imagine being in that meeting room. You're telling us you want us to sell creepy masks and, like, pumpkin carving instructional manuals and, and equipment? Instead of VHS tapes. And DVDs. cha -ching. We're locked in. Yeah, we need to stock some Earl. Peanut butter, or well, look at the money pouring in now, everybody. Big money. This is made by the same folks who made Gas Station Sim. No, but it's got the same concept. And uh, it does make me want to play another game where we run a gas station, but more like this, called Pumping Simulator 2. Chat keeps telling me to play. We might have to play it. Games are cool, though. They're chill. All right, peanut butter. Let's stock that. Rice.
All right, more spaghetti. Well, now we have enough to buy that license, don't we? Promota. We'll buy that, and then tomorrow we'll buy a new fridge and set that up. We probably put the fridge up against that wall. Sugar, blue flower, red flower. boxes, dude. Okay, we need more coffee for sure. And water. Yeah, we were boxed in there. Yeah, we're going to build a cardboard fort, chat. That's a good idea. No chat allowed. Nah, you can come. Nice, dude. After all that time, you bought a lot of stuff. Let's end our day. Thirteen products found too expensive. Really? All right, we'll try to match closer to market prices then. We'll try to get real close then. Well, the coffee seemed to have sold okay. Thirteen products is a bit much. Four oh eight will go four fifty. Hmm. 
It's a dollar more. All right, let's get started with the um, new furniture. Actually, we just need to buy the soda, which is going to look weird where we're going to put it, but that's fine. Where's the frozen pizzas? We're going to have to unlock that. It could be on the list. People will buy orange juice, apple juice, and then two types of soda. Oh, we've also unlocked a six pack of milk. Dude, look at all the soda we've got. Uh, let's start with that. Soda gonna be priced at two twelve. All right, we'll do two two fifty. This one's a different brand. I need more space is what we need. Yeah, the 15 could include the same product, yeah. We, we might not be selling one product, but we'll always adjust. to the freezer again in the future. Gonna try to save some money. Juice sounds like something from Cyberpunk. Yeah, it's like a you got your health bar and your juice bar. You gotta power up your, your Cybertronics with juice. Oh, we should turn our light on. All right, so now we just stand by for big business. Cha-ching. Speaking of cyberpunk, we'll listen to cyberpunk-like music while we play.
They're having synth milk, synth tea. It'd be kind of cool if you could turn your store into something other than a... Uh... Oh, we need to get some sugar, too. Uh, we, it'd be cool if we could do something other than a supermarket, like be more of a convenience store where we sell, like, you know, newspapers and, like, I don't know, windshield wiper fluid and stuff. Judging. Oh, we're going to need water. But maybe we can put some juice over here. Can't wait till I can have two. Chat, our goal's got to be to hit level 20, hire two cashiers, and then we can just do all the shelf stocking and then like ordering stuff all the time. Business locked in. Okay, Customer locked in. Snoo snoo. Oh yeah, yeah, we're putting snoo snoo on the wall.
All right. Nope. Everybody stand in the pile of boxes. Gives us time to work. or uh, pasta oh sugar flour maybe pasta no oh, they're closed Nice. Is that Mr. Pib? Uh, sure. Be whatever you want. And yeah, look at that line. Seventeen hundred dollars. Let's go. franchise that we can buy? Yeah, that's where we buy like vegetables and stuff. Different types of stuff. Oh, we ran out of olive oil. But we're good. Stocked. Well, that was the end of our day. Approaching $2,000. Let's go. After that, uh, did we buy that thing last night or today? That license. Good. Salt. Got to figure out what other new stuff we can put in here. Can we make a poll for the next franchise? Well, yes and no. There's a few we can unlock, but we're limited. We have to be a certain level. We're working towards level 20, though, in the upper right corner. Ah, I forgot what we're going to buy. We need pasta and blue flour for sure.
Okay, seems good. the whole shelf buy that again you love this game it's a pretty good game Cat Jam. Ah, eh, whatever, send it. Send it. We're going to try to make more money rather than buying stock now. Maybe try to switch some things around. Especially buying a bigger store. Today is the day of upgrades. That guy's coming right for us. Hopefully we can make like 2,500. We'll see how far we get without buying stuff for today. But more importantly than that is just level. Got to stay active at our workplace. Got to do the got to do the Walmart thing. We're we're an associate. They could pay us more. Maybe that would motivate us. But let's uh, put a massive amount of money into PR and marketing and uh, motivating rather than paying. Let's do everything we can but spend a trillion. But after spending that trillion, we'll save a billion. Also, uh, our wages here are zero dollars, but we will pay in pizza parties. If projected sales goals are obtained and maintained. Wow, big spender here with the 5870 chief. Anything almost out of stock? Also, yeah, like I was mentioning before, lo I would love, love, love to see this game do things where like certain days were just more popular of the week or holidays would happen where people would come in to buy more and more specific things the greeting guy yeah 
That's probably a tax right off. They'd only do it for money. There's a reason for that. And it ain't to greet you. Wow, we're way up over where I thought we would be. There better be a way to see what product's making us the most money. My handsome good looks only got us so far. At least 98% of the pro profits. What explains the other 2%? Yeah, coupons. That'd be cool as hell. Then you could do a special... That's where you get them. You have a, get the coupon for the, the cereal, but then you octuple the price of milk. They want bottled water again? Alright. We're trying to clear the shelves. On purpose. So that's good. Because we need to reassess. You want to be able to super glue coins to the floor. Yes. We'll somehow conspire with the healthcare companies to do that during winter. And then when people bend down to pick that up and become injured, they'll have to go to the hospital. Now, that'll, that'll be a good inside way to do things. Those things come up. Those are actual business ideas. Can't be legal when you make the loss because you make the money. Yeah, Butcher Shop would be cool. Yeah, more games like this in different formats would be great. Like, you could do a Home Depot simulator like this, although people aren't swinging by the Home Depot as frequently as they are the grocery store. But still. It'd be cool to offer paint, mixing paint, ladders, grills, hammers and nails, power tools. Different types of lumber. Oh, just having a lumber yard chat. Think of that. Our lighting is weird. Yeah, propane and propane accessories. I mean, there literally was a. In King of the Hill, it wasn't there a propane like sales job that was like GTA. 
Hank was playing it. All right, let's restock the shells with what we can. Let's try to buy. Seven fifty. Oh, 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 nice. Whoa, it just opened up a hole. Ooh, that would be perfect for the frozen foods right there. Or the, um, like the freezers. Hold on a second, baby. Yeah, we almost made it to 3K. Nice. This is nice. All right. And then it said that the next section was $1,300 for that one. That's a little spendy for now, but we're getting there. All right, well, let's move the uh, freezers around. The refrigerators. And we're gonna buy some more lights. Or we'll move one. Hope there's a better way to do the lights in the future. I want a grid system for the light. Just snap me to a grid. Snap into a slim gym. Oh yeah. What's up, Feanor? How you doing, dude? Alright. So we can do... Can we fit one more there? I think so. Alright, we'll go tomorrow morning. Okay, good. We went from 13 to 7. Products not found 17. But that's because we haven't... We didn't have enough shelf space to buy everything. But now we are. Wow. Big money. Alright, so we're buying that Extendo Freezer. Alright, that looks nice. <laughs> now we can get more organized. Woo! Okay. This feels good, man. This is good. Now we can actually get this place organized. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. This is good. And this looks good. This looks good. It's almost as like a little gas station simulator, too. I, I want... I hope uh, pump simulators like this, too. Okay. And I don't want to block the windows, because... Uh, oh, unless we could get a shelf... That'd be nice if we get shelves that were... Or tables... That were just like waist high or whatever. Because I don't want to block a whole. You know, these shells are a little tall. But let's see if we can fit things on this corner. Ah, that goes a little past. Well, we got this extra freezer. We could do this here for impulse buy, right? Boom. We can pack this bad boy full of sodas. 
Oh, the freezers might be short. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, we'll save that for sodas. Let's get all these boxes out of here. This is good. Big step forward. Big step. What's up, Eric? Yeah, the giant bear statue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's move things around. All right, pasta, grains, like pasta, bread, that kind of thing. Pretty close there. Oh, nice. Flush, too. Look at that. Mmm. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. We should be able to fit in another shelf here and maybe one here. We'll start with one. We absolutely could do another shelf here. That's a little crowded. pretty close. I mean, you know, we're going to move it again anyway. Then we have this shelf here, but also we could put a shelf here. Yeah. Let's set that there for a minute. Well, damn, I guess we could put this guy. We could put him on the only cash register and make more floor space for... We could, we could box, box this up for later. Yeah. So when we have more door space, we can just make that for the check out so then we can use all this we could put a maybe an aisle here like a front and back aisle right here mm -hmm. but the real question is do we want more freezer space or do we want more shelf space 
Yeah, we got plenty of freezer space, it looks like. Yeah. Pizza roll space. Yeah, we're buying another shelf. Buying two of them. That's going to be cool. That's fine. That's actually pretty good. If only we could get just a little tiny small section here, or really a corner piece would be great. <sighs> we just need more space. Look. When we even if we optimize this more, we're gonna just run out of space anyway, and need to buy more uh, room. The next room upgrade is thirteen hundred, so we're gonna need more money for that. So let's do bread, cereal, pasta. Now we can move things around when they sell out. I think I'm going to move flour here. We'll do the red label on top. The red one seems to sell more than the blue. But they want both. ingredients there. This is the peanut butter. I really just want more shelf options to optimize space wherever we got it. Ooh. 
And I can still use this little corner for stacking boxes then for frequent items. Bread, cereal, etc. Okay. Now we can afford like a ton of new products, or at least we have the space for a ton of new products. So what don't we have? What haven't we put out before? I guess there's that other type of milk too. There's like the apple, there's apple juice, but the six pack of milk. Buy those. We don't have the other type of soda either. Let's buy that. Or rice. Bottled water. I think the way it works, Chad, is that they're they're only looking for products that we have licenses for. So if we don't have a license for like frozen pizza, they're not going to come in and be like, "Oh, you don't have frozen pizza." They'll only be mad if it's. Essentially, it's like the licenses are like our menu, and it being on the shelf is like it being prepared. Yeah, it would be nice if it showed inventory before we buy more of something. Yeah. Okay, that thing's perfect for that pillar. Beautiful. So now, more water. Rice. That sold pretty good. I'm a dude watching a dude playing a dude running a store. Uh, I'm a dude, she's a dude, we're all dudes, hey. I'm pretty sure. Cool, dude. I'll put the greens in the middle. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that weird six pack of milk. Product needs to be what? Placed on a, sh a shell. What the, the hell? What? Bro, is that on refrigerated dairy? The hell? Milk six pack. What in the European Union is this? Now, goddamn, I thought this was America. Leave this out here. The hell? UHT milk? The hell is UHT milk? The F is UHT. The hell is UHT milk? You haven't tried? Yeah, because anybody who uses it is dead. That's what UHT stands for. Time to study.
Just like pasteurization, the that's, that's, that's process that's the devil's poison. microorganisms. Devil's the poison. Quality and taste of the milk itself. One of the added benefits of long life milk is that it can be transported and stored at room temperature. This lowers its carbon footprint, which is beneficial to the planet. You and use a truck to get milk, it there. there no what do you mean? Preservatives as required what is the truck running on? Just the calcium and protein. UHT? And teeth strong. Sister, that's and diesel. Part of a healthy, balanced diet. Talk so about the carbon of footprint. One of nature's finest. Just milk. It's exactly what it says on the bottle. This was paid for by the Condia Corporation. I'm not going to believe that ass. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Yeah, whatever. UHT. That, that is not allowed in this store. That's going out in the trash where it belongs. That's what was all that to explain that it's heated to 135 Celsius and then rapidly cooled. How the hell does that work? It doesn't explain anything. The difference is, is the temperature. Okay, bye. What does that mean? How does that work? Yeah, the truck was running on Tangerine Dreams. <laughs> that, that whole thing needs to be a YouTube short. I had no idea. Is this the same crap that the Australians try to pull where they put milk in a bag? Is that the same thing? Is that UHT milk? Where's Rod? I need I, emergency. I need, I need Rod Gray's emergency number. I need to talk to an adult about UHT milk. Milk in a bag? Yeah, apparently the Australians put milk in a bag. It is? No. No way. Our milk is all in milk and can. <laughs> that's, that's great. Ellers made an unintentional funny. Yep, all of our milk is milk here in milk territory. He kills certain types of bacteria. I'm un I am familiar with pasteurization. I know how that works, but I don't understand how the temperature difference. Like, does it kill more? How the hell much longer does uh? UHT milk work over the other one. She said the benefits were one has to be refrigerated, the other does not. But then how much longer does it last? Does it last does UHT last longer if you refrigerate it? You could you could have seven seventy year milk. Here my child, I am on my deathbed. This is my gallon of milk. I it, it was passed down to me from my father and his father before him. I used it once on cereal, it's yours now. Ah. Uh, my father gave me his U U U U U H T milk, ultra ultra high temp. They they heated it on the sun and sent it back to Earth. It has negative bacteria. It actually has curing properties. It's a mana potion. Like what the hell? How does any of this work? People drink no. People don't drink warm milk. Sadists, those who. <laughs> do, you, do you put a, put a pet you pentagram on the floor in milk? And then summon Louis Pasteur back from the grave to get revenge on <laughs> Little Miss Muffet, who sat on her tuffet, earning her, eating her curds and whey separated. <sighs> anyway, where were we? I'm oh, sorry you had to hear that rant, uh, Fabian. Sorry about that. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for the five bomb. Uh, from Barthy. <laughs> the chat was spamming UHT, and I'm like, the hell is UHT milk? I've never heard of that stuff. I guess it's just because I live so close to farm country, brother, that my milk is fresh and free. You use this synthesized Cyberpunk 2077 milk. Look, look, look. See, that's why it's playing the Cyberpunk music. Night City! Like what the hell does that? What is it? What does it say this is? Milk six pack. I don't. I, I hate it. I hate it. I really. I... 
All right, fine. The uh, we'll put it in the Vegas. You know what? Actually, maybe we should have put it behind the counter, and you have to present an ID if you're going to be doing illegal substances. All right, I'm over it. <sighs> yeah, that's true. There's condensed milk. I'm I'm familiar with that and evaporated milk. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Hey, hey, mister, would you buy us a six-pack of milk? Get out of here, kid. Am I going to play more Nightingale? Uh, maybe. I, I thought it was pretty cool, but I do want to play with friends uh, now. Can't believe I'm buying more Liquid Sin. Presentation. Well, look, we're not taking it. Okay, I, I hope chat enjoyed the. I didn't get. Some of you didn't submit a parental uh, permission slip to go on that field trip we just went on to the uh, gov.uk to learn about UHT milk versus standard pasteurization. I'm so distracted now. I can't remember what I was doing. I like. I need a hug. All right. Um. Let's let's take a little store tour. Okay, so we need more oil. You know, actually, that'd be a cool thing uh, for Farming Simulator to do a little bit more of, because in, in Farming Sim, you can... Uh, give cows different types of uh, rations, which change changes the, the how the milk tastes and stuff like that. There's there's many different things you could do to change what and how a cow produces milk and whatnot. But I wish they would allow us to do more inside the milk and cheesery. But usually it's just plop down building, deliver milk, and get money. Yeah, like chocolate milk. Like, how much chocolate do they have to feed the cow for chocolate milk? Like, I, they don't explain those things to you. This game needs a back room. Yeah, it's there's a storage room here we can buy, but it's not interconnected, which is annoying. Or, I guess, technically, you could turn this into your back room if you wanted, but you can't separate things with walls. It kind of does it for you. Oh, those are just brown cows? Oh, okay. Brown cows are the ones that produce chocolate? All right, thank you. I'll take notes. Okay. Um, so we could buy a little bit more salt. Okay, let's do that. Ultra evaporated milk is a can of air. Oh my god. I'm gonna go to Europe and start selling that. They'll fall for that. Good. Okay, so we got two shelves here for something. Has anybody here, there's got to be somebody, or somebody who knows somebody, who probably used chocolate milk to make mashed potatoes. Don't lie. Somebody must have done it once. Being like, ah, oh, crap, I'm out of regular milk. Oh, but I do have chocolate milk and just a little bit of it. Somebody must have done that. Somebody must have done that. This is the most active I've ever seen the chat arguing about milk. I love it. <laughs> I 
I've used OJ instead of milk and cereal. Uh, uh, that's not the worst thing, I think. Oh, you did it with vanilla milk once accidentally? That uh, makes sense. There must have been some weird potatoes. <laughs> Accidents happen. Pasteurized? No, just up to my chest. Wow. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we'll need some more pasta. <laughs> yeah, tee -hee. Twitch servers today were overwhelmed by milk rants. Yeah. I need to buy regular milk, too. And maybe some more eggs, but... Definitely milk. Pasteurized, standard, everyday, normal milk. Last Thanksgiving, talking with family and grabbed the chocolate by mistake. Brother let it happen. Wow. Well, for, former brother, I mean. That's a sin. Can't talk to him anymore. After the tragic chocolate milk exit accident of 23. This reminds me of getting ready uh, sometimes in gas station simulator where we will shut down the gas station and then, you know, stock all the shelves and then luckily we don't have to stock shelves for a few days. You just keep it running for a while. Except in that game, time doesn't really stop like it is here. Alright, let's buy cheese and eggs. Kind of wondering how chocolate potatoes would taste. I don't know. I don't want to know. There's something else we could put on these shelves. Let's see. Cereal. Do we have that cereal? Okay, we could buy some more cereal. Uh, sugar, coffee, tea. Orange and apple juice.
Definitely should buy some more cereal. More coffee. Dark chocolate cream. Mm-hmm. No, we don't have toilet paper yet. We gotta buy licenses for certain things. We, we, we're not allowed. Okay, let's do. I think we're good to open, and we'll let him do all the uh, all the work. But if he becomes too busy, I'm gonna have to just do a quick pop up, <laughs> pop out register somewhere, and I'll be in charge of the shelves. We can actually push boxes. We, attention Europeans, we have UHT milk. Oh, there we go. Ah, here come the Europeans now. Yes. They've been alerted the, to the presence of UHT milk. Oh, God. Whoa, 12? The tw you could buy milk for 12? That milk sells for so much, it's ridiculous. Oh my god. Who the hell would buy milk for that much? Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's working. He's doing it. $13 for milk. I could understand people paying that if it was like soy milk or almond milk or whatever. Eight hundred Michelin stars. Oh, God. Oh, it's not that bad of a line. All the Europeans are falling for it. You like the Robin Hood game? Yeah, we might play that again. That was a cool game. I like the uh, when we played the demo. It was pretty cool, too. Alyssa, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Thank you, everybody, for all your Twitch subs, your memberships. Thanks for sending over your member milestones, re-upping your Twitch sub, uh, dropping gift bombs, everything. Thank you very much for your support.
Oh. Olive oil a little low. In six pack form. Yeah, but this is like what? A liter of milk? You're buying six liters? A lot of milk. Who the hell needs. No, that can't be a liter. No. Is it? Oh my god. Brad, the line. Man, the olive oil's going like crazy. Uh, my parents used to buy the six pack of skimmed UHT milk, one liter bottles. It was a dark time, a lot of dry cereal. My God. AKA white water. <laughs> oh my God. A dark time. So much milk passion today. I'm surprised we're standing literally under the light and look at how dark it is. These uh, freezers need need to be lit up too in this game. I, I hope they update it so the freezers can actually like have a light on. Damn, they were buying the hell out of apple juice. Good job, bro. 
We actually made quite a bit of money considering we bought a ton of stuff. And nobody really complained. Milk really got the... Ch yeah. Well, they say, you know, milk does a body good, but milk really got the chat going. <laughs> UHT apple juice. Dude, everything should be UHT, dude. Ice cream, UHT. We heat it to 10,000 suns and then to negative, uh, to, to the vacuum of space. Scam cream, just $800,000 an ounce. It's good for the environment, I guess, as we say so. If it makes you buy more. <laughs> yeah, Dippin' Dots. Now hold on a second, is Dippin' Dots UHT milk? Because... Get ready for another day. Yeah, let's put more oil down. Let's move the sugar to its own little... Put the oils in. These are essential oils. They're so essential I can't tell you what's in them. Don't want you looking into it. Just buy it. this milk talk I'm gonna go have Oreos Oreos <laughs> well now you're gonna get uh, you know Oreo ads yeah we'll have to add cheese yep Oreo Backups planned. Uh, 
Buy some rice. Peanut butter needs to be in a different aisle. Maybe here with the bread. Okay. We should sell more pasta. All right, let's do more pasta. No, flour. We'll do flour. controller to play this game uh good question it might say on steam i'm using mouse and keyboard you probably could maybe look at this we still have like 600 bucks left good This guy looks locked in. Yeah, he's boxed in, yeah. All right, we need more sugar. New's new. Okay. Um, yeah, we could order more salt. I, I guess we could do a full stock. <laughs> it's a lot of salt, but I would imagine it would be filled with different spices. Okay, lots of peanut butter. I feel like we're good to go. Yeah, we can stock up on anything we're short on. Let's go. Can you get pepper? Not yet. 
the few <clears throat> we got to buy licenses which unlocks new products but those are like a new license is like i don't know 750 bucks and then we got to buy the products on top of that so we need like i don't know almost like 2000 bucks to be able to buy the license buy the shelf to put the new product on then buy the product and buy enough product to restock the shelf when we run out of the product it's like ah so much we got to do Man, this place is going to get busy. Nice to have a cashier now. Now we can just chill a little bit more. They made the Roblox Supermarket game into a real game. This is awesome. You know, chat, I hate to do it, but like I used to make fun of Fortnite, and then we went and played Lego Fortnite, which, which was actually legit and quite fun. It would be kind of fun to go to Roblox and play a bunch of these like business tycoon building simulator games that we all seem to enjoy. Uh, I mean, it is fun in every game to continuously, you know, clean, organize, lay out, plan. It's really cool stuff. Uh, Zero Cyber, uh, there may be a video on the channel of that one. I think so. You guys doing the best you can. Be interesting if like a hot day or something made people buy more ice cream and liquids and things like that. Man, imagine eventually cleaning these places with all this foot traffic. It's going to be crazy when we had water there.
Hmm. Not a lot of people have been buying eggs. All right, we'll do it for less than market price. Oh, we got lots of water. Can we hire restockers? Uh, everything seems to be based on level. We're trying to get to level 20 to then get another cashier. So what I would hope to do is one, expand the store, two, add a second cashier, and then three, that'll add just way more profits. I, I think w if we get to this next plan, we're gonna be making a ton of money, but we already got over a thousand bucks. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna buy more lights for this place. Lying around the corner for this place. Like a club. Oh, they love that green soda. We'll have to make more room for soda. Do we charge for bags? Good idea. It's for the env We'll charge money uh, for the environment. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. We'll just uh, need your money. It's our money. You just don't know it yet. I can't order anything else. Taking too long for people to get out of the store. We're going to need that second cashier ASAP. Or I'm going to have to put down... I'm going to have to put down a conveyor belt for me. But it takes up so much room. The devil's milk is almost gone. The devil's poison. You know what I should do, chat? Is, uh, you know how, like, Review Bra reviewed water? Like, distilled and whatever, purified. I should do one where I, uh, I get different types of milk and do milk reviews. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Why is he dressed like a waiter? I don't know, but it's nice that he's dressed nicely. Can we train him to make him faster? I don't think so. Let's see what we got. So we can expand our place again for 1300 We got bills to pay. Yeah, it looks like only uh, cashiers, but it says more employees are coming soon. So it does seem like they might hire, you might be able to hire people to restock shelves, clean the floors, maybe security. Ooh, 
We got cake next. Cakes and candies. There you go. And yogurt. All right. So now we can get up to yogurt tier. Nice. And then, of course, customization, but coming soon. So we got to get up to level 20 to hire our next guy. That's cool. While he's doing that, we can restock shelves. I don't mind the restocking because it also helps us to monitor what we got. Is it? It's kind of a business management game. I think I'd rather stock shelves than uh, be at the register. We didn't seem to sell a lot of rice. Oh, a little bit of demon water. Well, that was our last customer. It doesn't seem like the customers really mind a line. But it could be entirely possible that if you have too many people in the store, not any more will come in. So like the game only spawns so many at a time. So it might be a good idea to make sure you spawn a large, uh, or have a enough cashiers to deal with a lot of people who spawn. That might be something, something to consider. Do we did it. We like expanded the store a bunch. We're almost back up to 2K. Yeah. Now I just gotta make sure we have enough uh, money for um, more products. No, I can't move the computer. I tried. I don't think there's a way to do it. Okay, so we got storage for extra eggs. All right, so we have to buy more tea, more juice, apple and orange, more cheese, a little bit more milk, peanut butter, lots of cereal. That's about it. At least to do a full restock. All right, lights out. Ooh. Our price tags are glowing. They're, they're they're those fancy new LEDs. Cool. Yeah, this game's great. Getting even better every time we play it. <clears throat> it's very uh, a common theme with these types of games where like the first stream or two that you see on them, they start out pretty good and they're interesting, but they get even better because then we unlock all the stuff and we actually get to we have money to actually buy stuff to play the game. Like it starts out kind of slow actually, but now it's getting better. But you know what else is better is not only just building a supermarket, but also building a survival cabin. And that's what we'll be doing next in our stream of Sons of the Forest. So let's jump over there right now, live redirect you to our stream, and I'll see you all literally right now. Just stay put and uh, check the channel for more. And we'll be back with this game, Supermarket Simulator, like ASAP. This one's really good. So we'll be playing a lot more of this because it is fun to goof around and learn about UHT milk. I I learned something today. That's cool. All right, I'll see you all right now. Let's go.